Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The delegation of the Holy See supports the UNHCR Executive Committee statement on enhancing international cooperation, solidarity, local capacities, and humanitarian action for refugees in Africa. Within the African continent, as well as from Africa toward Europe and the world, the search of a safe haven and of a decent life pushes many people to abandon their homes and to cross borders to escape danger and oppressive conditions. Knowingly, they even risk death on flimsy boats and often the cruelty of smugglers. Too many victims have turned the waters of the Mediterranean into a silent cemetery. Excessively restrictive border regulation policies, which lend themselves to the dangerous practice of smuggling of human persons as cargo, have pushed thousands of asylum seekers to undertake a fatal journey along which their dreams and their lives are shattered. The hospitality of African countries has proved to be a major lifesaver in many crises. International solidarity has often matched African generosity, but neither are inexhaustible resources. A renewed engagement in a policy of prevention is now urgent. The efforts of the international community to prevent conflicts and bad governance which stifle development are necessary in order to reduce the number of persons forcibly displaced. In essence, this requires a culture of peace, which is only possible when the human person is placed at the center of concerns, national plans, and social goals, thus acknowledging his inherent dignity and the respect that his fundamental human rights deserve. A change of mentality is required, one that rejects violence as a means of confronting personal and community differences, and that transcends tribal, ethnic, and national interest in the service of the common good. The juridical instruments produced for the protection of forcibly displaced populations offer useful tools to tackle the causes of forced displacement so that today's asylum seekers and uprooted people may receive an adequate protection. Additional practical steps are listed in the Executive Committee statement. These measures can provide effective relief to the plight of asylum seekers and IDPs. Pope Francis pleads, above all, I ask leaders and legislators and the entire international community to confront the reality of those who have been displaced by force with effective projects and new approaches in order to protect their dignity, to improve the quality of their life, and to face the challenges that are emerging from modern forms of persecution, oppression, and slavery. Mr. Chairman, developing new strategies by incorporating the best of experience proven methods is the only way to confront the current challenges. The political determination to prevent conflicts through dialogue and inclusiveness and an effective solidarity that bridges the gap between developing and developed regions of the world will open a path to a peaceful future. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.